Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Now, if you're in the need for a little pick-me-up today, then hopefully this will even out those stress levels just a touch. What better way to fill your time right now than with a bit of polystyrene carving? And here today we have Aiden basically doing what he does best. We're working with a client from across the channel in France. Julian from The Floral Sculptors has seen some of our previous work on our channel and on our website, and we'd like to commission a couple of sculptural pieces. This is so that he himself can decorate these for promotional events and special occasions. We're going to be creating a stylized swan and a miniature sculpture of Pegasus. The work begins with a sketch idea from the client, some sizes, and a brief to create this from polystyrene with a muslin cloth finish. This muslin cloth will allow flowers, feathers, and other decorations to be pinned or fixed onto the surface using an adhesive without damaging the polystyrene shape underneath. Aidan goes to work by first measuring out and sketching the swan design onto a sheet of polystyrene, which is then transferred to a larger block. Using our trusty hot wire table, the cubist form is being cut out, ready for this to be carved by hand. For those of you familiar with our processes here at the studio, know by now that we enjoy creating things ourselves, rather than letting the computers and machines have all the fun and hog all the glory. Believe it or not, we find that carving by hand is actually quicker, more cost effective for the client, therapeutic for us here and hopefully you guys watching at home, and we can make amendments easily. Aiden's going to be working with handheld hot wires for the large chunks, nail and wire brushes to carve the form, and sandpapers for the finer detail and to smoothen the sculpture generally. That's about it from me for the moment, so we welcome you to sit back, relax and enjoy the process. So we don't actually have a lot of footage of the baby Pegasus, particularly the carving, thank you very much Chris, but notice how I say baby, as though there's a potential daddy Pegasus somewhere in the mix. Well this is very much the case, but I'm afraid you're going to have to stay tuned for that one. Something to appear a little later in the channel, something a lot larger, far more dramatic, commissioned once again by Julian, so be sure to check that one out once it's posted. Remember, you can stay up to date on our latest videos by subscribing, selecting the little notification bell, and we'll happily welcome you back for another project. For now, it's time to welcome Julian down to the studio, where he's been busy working on the beginning stages of the swan decoration. A muslin cloth has been painted onto the sculpture with a black emulsion paint. This is applied in small strips and patches, and it builds up a slightly more durable layer on top of the polystyrene surface. 
Julian has now gone to work with adhering the initial feathers onto the end of the wings so that we can get an idea of how this will eventually look. Exactly the same process has gone ahead for the Pegasus, and Julian was kind enough to send us a few finished shots of both sculptures in various means of decoration. To see more of Julian's work, we've included a couple of links in the YouTube description below, so feel free to check out what other beautiful pieces Julian's created. For now, here are a few finished shots of the sculptures in all their glory at a couple of events at the beginning of 2020. Stay tuned for the second half of this project in a later video on the channel, and thank you very much for watching this far. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Merci, and thank you very much for watching.